Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome back to Barb's Vault. So in case you missed it, the brand new Fallout show just came out and it was absolutely fantastic. No complaints from this Wastelander. But with that being said, there's been a huge influx of new players to Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and most importantly for this video, Fallout 76. This video will be a lot more geared towards brand new players, people are looking to, you know, get kind of a leg up in the competition. So I'm going to give you a few quick tips to boost your XP, and it's going to be stuff that you can do right from the start of the game. So when you leave the vault, you leave with the Pip-Boy. We're going to go ahead and open that guy up. We're going to go to our leveling up and our cards. We're going to go over to Charisma, and we're going to be looking for a card called Inspirational. Now, don't worry, you can get this card at level 2, and you can basically walk out of the vault and sneeze and get this card. But the really cool thing about this card is that it'll give you a 5% XP boost right from the jump. Now, you can level it up to go a little bit higher than that, and the max is 15% more XP. A very easy and passive way to gain more experience. So the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you join a casual team. So I'm bringing up our social tab here, you can see that I'm already in one. If you look over here to the side, you can see that our bond levels are growing. Bond 1, Bond 2, Bond 3. Plus one intelligence, plus two intelligence, plus three intelligence, plus four intelligence. And in case you're not aware, intelligence is how you level up faster. The higher your intelligence, the more experience you get. So even if you're not going for an intelligence-based build, you can absolutely do all these things and still level up faster. And all these dudes here seem to be brand new players. I'm sure they're getting into the game just because of Fallout show, and I love to see that. The other great thing about being on a team is not only can you fast travel to them, but you can also fast travel to their bases. So if you need to get all the way across the map and you don't want to spend the money to fast travel there, you can actually go and click on them or their base and fast travel right to them. A great way to get around the map very, very early game. So if you're very, very new to the game and you have no, no money to speak of, Go ahead and fast travel. Just a random guy, I'm gonna go ahead and click on him, fast travel over to him, and I'm gonna force him to be in this video against his will. <laughs> At gunpoint. All right, so we fast travel here to our buddy. Boom, there he is. Looking pretty slick, if I do say so myself. Go ahead and give him a little a heart, why not? Smooch, but boom. So up next is to make sure that you join public events. So how do you get to a public event and how do you see what the rewards are? So you open up your menu here, you can see down there in the bottom left, there's a public event going on named Tea Time. Now Tea Time is not a great public event. It doesn't really have crazy rewards. It's very, very easy, but you can see here that you get Sweetwater Special Blend, Legendary Items, Legendary Cores, and Treasury Notes. And Treasury Notes are important because you can hand them in to get gold bullion to then buy lunchboxes with to give you even more XP. So right now we got four people over there, so why don't we go hop in and help them out. Yeah, once this event is finished, we'll get our rewards. Did <laughs> someone throw a landmine? Alright. Fair, I'll take it. Alright, so this event popping up. We've completed it. And then completed tea time. But the really important thing that we're going to get from this is another form of in-game currency that you cannot go without. Item rewards. Right away. Pistol, who cares about all that stuff. Sweet, sweet water blend, yada, 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 whatever. The treasury notes are what we're really looking for here. So that brings us to the, I would say, kind of last bonus tip here. Is once you have those treasury notes, you can go down here to foundation, which is on the very... Very, very low southeastish region of the map. Go ahead and fast travel there. I'm gonna cash these boys in. Okay, so here at Foundation, we're gonna be looking for a very lovely lad named Samuel. But we're gonna run to a treasury note machine and we're gonna go ahead and cash in those treasury notes. So if you come over here to Foundation, keep in mind that Foundation is part of the storyline and you can either choose the Good boys over here, or some filthy bandits as your main town hub. I'm going to go over here to the gold press machine. So we got two treasury notes here, trading those boys in. So you can trade gold bullion, and you can get three lunch boxes at a time. So what I do is I go ahead, I buy the three, boom, three lunch boxes. Turn around, come back. I don't want to talk to you. No, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Turn around, come back. And then what I do is I stop talking to him, turn around, give him a little bit of a side eye, go back, buy more launch boxes. You can pop four of those to get way more experience. So when you're doing an event like Radiation Rumble or Test Your Metal, you're going to be just 
leveling up crazy fast. Okay, so to recap the video, the lessons we gave you here was to A, make sure that you join a public team as soon as possible. That's going to go ahead and give you an immediate 4x boost to your intelligence. And number two is to use the inspirational perk card, which at level one will give you an immediate 5% XP boost. Number three is to make sure that you're well rested. Nothing gets the old brain thinking in there for your intelligence, like getting a full eight hours of sleep. Number four is to do lots of public events. A lot of them give really, really great rewards, they give great experience, and then not only that, you can also use them to do the bonus step of using them to buy lunch boxes to further increase your XP bonuses. So this is only a small list. There's lots of great things you can be doing to get way better XP boosts. And one of those is actually food buffs, which I have made a video for, which you'll see pop up in the right hand side of the screen, right about now. <laughs> With that being said, I love you boys, I appreciate you, it is so awesome seeing so many brand new players in Appalachia, and I hope I see you out there one day. What I'm going to be doing is going to be linking not only the tabs to this video, but I'm also going to put in there my player ID. So feel free to jump in the game, add me, we'll do some stuff together. If you're brand new to the game, you know, I'm not above going around helping you out. Until the next one, see you around.